Welcome. In this video, I'm going to talk about upgrading Windows Subsystem for Linux 1 to Windows Subsystem for Linux 2. So to get started, I'll go into my search here and I'll open up PowerShell. And I did a previous video where I removed a distribution from Windows Subsystem for Linux, and that's because it was old and I wouldn't be able to upgrade it. So on the command line here, I'll type clear to start fresh, and I'll type WSL space dash L space dash V. I'll hit enter. And you see we have one distribution here, it's Ubuntu 18.04, and then it's stopped, and it's version 1. So I think it's a good idea to back anything up inside of your distribution before you change this, just in case you don't know when something might go bad. So I'll put a link in the description of my website, too, where you can find these commands I'm typing in. So to upgrade this, what you want to do is you want to type in WSL space dash dash set dash version space, and then the name of the instance, so it's Ubuntu dash 18.04 space and then we want to have this be version 2. So I'll hit enter here and we're going to get an error message here and it says Windows Subsystem for Linux 2 requires an update to its kernel component. Okay so we'll copy this URL here I'll just select it and right click on it then I'll go into my web browser I'll paste this in the address bar and I'll download the latest WSL2 Linux kernel. Okay, it's done, I'll hit open file. I'll say run. I'll say yes here. It says it's completed, so I'll hit finish. I'll minimize this. I'll go back here, I'll press the up arrow to run this again. And now we have another message. It says, please enable the virtual machine platform Windows feature and ensure virtualization is enabled in the BIOS. So enabling virtualization in the BIOS can be different for different brands of computers. So what I would do is look up your specific computer model to see if virtualization is enabled. So to enable that, I'll go to the control panel. So I'll go to search here, I'll just type in control panel. I'll open that up. I'll click on programs, and then I'll click on turn Windows features on or off. So I'll scroll down here to Virtual Machine Platform. I'll check that and I'll hit OK. Okay, so it says the computer needs to be rebooted, so I'll hit Restart now, and then we'll continue the process after that's done. Okay, the system is done rebooting. I'll type PowerShell down here in the search again. I'll clear the screen. I'll type WSL space dash L space dash V. Okay, next I'll type WSL space dash dash set dash version space and I'll type the name of the distribution and then space and then two and I'll hit enter and now this will convert the distribution. So the main reason you would want to convert is because Windows Subsystem for Linux 2 uses virtualization so it's supposed to be a lot faster than uh, Windows Subsystem for Linux 1. Okay, that's completed. So that took about six minutes or so, maybe seven, I'm not sure. So if I type WSL space dash L space dash V again, it will come up and it'll say we're on version 2. So now I can type WSL and it should take us into Linux. So here we are when Linux. Well, that's kind of hard to read. It's this blue here on my screen, huh? So we can run commands like uh, apt, so we can say sudo apt update. It says we have five packages that can be upgraded, so I'll upgrade those. I'll clear my screen here. Okay, so there we go. So we switched from Windows Subsystem for Linux 1 to version 2. So that's all for this video. So I'll put a link below to my Windows playlist if you want to see my other Windows 10 videos. And if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.